Very well, then. On to our next candidate species. Zarek shuffled his notes, risking a glance up at the other xenologists. Humanity. A Class V civilization from the third planet of the Sol system. It has been proposed that they will provide a net benefit to the galactic community, and that we should proceed with first contact procedures. What is their most promising characteristic? The criteria upon which they may be deemed worthy? Intelligence, suggested Keithan. Surely that must be where we begin. They have certainly demonstrated that. Zarek brought up some images of human cities and industries. As you can see, they have used their intelligence to raise themselves to become the dominant species on their world. They have developed their medical technology to the degree that old age is now the primary cause of death, and they have also begun to make their first steps into space. In time, I am sure that regardless of our decision today, they will eventually develop FTL Transit by themselves, and join the galactic community under their own power. A low growl cut into his presentation. Mauna. She was always hard to please. Zara couldn't think of a single time she had voted in favour of a candidate. Are we supposed to be impressed? That level of intelligence is the bare minimum to even be considered in this forum. Is it not true that this so-called intelligent species is currently in the process of involuntarily terraforming their own homeworld to make it less hospitable to themselves? I admit that they are encountering some issues transitioning to a more sustainable method of development. However, I am confident that in time... Enough! Malna interrupted. If this is humanity's most promising characteristic, then I say let them prove it. If they solve their self-inflicted climate crisis, maybe then they can be considered. There was a general murmur of agreement. Very well. Zarek had of course prepared for this. Intelligence was by no means the only service a species could provide to the galactic community. Then let us move on to their cultural achievements. Humans produce various artworks that I believe might be of interest to you. Actually, I have an example of human cultural output that I would like to present. Malna was smiling, displaying her unsettlingly sharp teeth. If I may have access to the screen? It was a trap, of course. Zarek knew this. However, he also knew that denying her request would only give her more ammunition to use against him. Very well. Thank you, Zarek. Malna stepped up onto the stage beside him. This is an example of human video artwork known as... She squinted at some unfamiliar syllables in her notes. Known as an Adam Sandler movie. The video played. The conference watched in stunned silence for a few minutes. Eventually, Kirthan spoke up. What is the purpose of this media? I believe that the intention of this artwork is to provoke an amused reaction in the viewer through the use of unexpected situations and wordplay, Zarek explained. It appears to have failed. Indeed it has! Malnar cut off the video. I think that's quite enough human culture for today. Please! Zarek waved her tentacles frantically. I assure you that this is not representative of all human cultural output. I have many other examples which are more. Malnar growled deeply. As I said, that's enough human culture for now. Does anyone here disagree? It was clear from the general reaction in the room that she had won this round. What about their physical prowess? suggested Keithan. Even with modern automation, there are still situations where a hardy biological can be invaluable. Perhaps the humans show promise in this area. Well, Zarek checked his notes. They are not capable of particularly impressive feats of strength. However, they do possess great natural stamina. They can sustain athletic effort over long periods of time, allowing them to outperform other species in extended competitions. There was a murmur of various species version of laughter from the crowd. But latterly, Zarek realised that Malnar still had control of the screen. Slowly, he turned to look at the image that had been displayed behind him. A large human, in the process of consuming a ridiculous quantity of what, if you were feeling generous, might be described as food. Well, I see your point, but not all humans are. Malnar had clearly sensed blood now. Is it not true that, even with their limited technology, humans have become lazy and fat? Perhaps once their physical attributes might have been useful, but that is clearly no longer the case. And imagine how much more lazy and unhealthy the humans could become if they had access to our advanced technology. Perhaps we are doing them a favour by leaving them isolated. Clearly you are grasping at straws here, Zarek. I think it's time to put this to a vote. Enough! Zarek sees back control of the screen, quickly shutting off the unpleasant image. I am presenting here, Malna, not you. 
I have one more characteristic to demonstrate before the vote. It was a risk. He knew how this made him feel. How it had convinced him to propose human contact in the first place. But would the others feel the same? All these different species with their different personalities and preferences. Would they feel the same anticipation and excitement that he did? A video began to play, recorded by a nano camera implanted within a human dwelling. A single human sat in the chair, at his feet a small furry carnivore. The carnivore lifted his head, reaching towards the human. What is this creature? Kithan asked. It goes by many names. The scientific name is a canine, although most humans would refer to it as a dog, or occasionally more affectionately as a doggo or papa. However, the identity of this species is not the focus of this demonstration. Please, just observe. Noticing the dog's movement, the human reached down towards it. It placed his hand towards the back of the canine's head and began to move his fingers back and forth behind the creature's ears. The human spoke. Words that would change the course of human history and perhaps the history of the galaxy at large forever. Scritchy, scritch, scritch, who's a good boy? The dog's tail began to flap wildly. The video ended. A hush fell upon the gathering. Malna was the first to break the silence, speaking hesitantly for the first time since Eric had known her. These scritches, she paused. Are those reserved solely for the doggos? Or do you believe that the humans would be willing to perform those on other life forms?